I'm back again. Uh, how was uh, your backhand serve and kill? I think uh, a little bit problem there, but no worries. Still keep going. Uh, today we're gonna talk about forehand serve. They call it what is it? Pendulum serve. Okay, so pendulum serve and backhand loop kill. And this one for myself a little bit better uh, because the spin so turns this way this time. Remember last time a little bit this one, the arc like this, this time a little bit like this. So I like this way better. So that's why for myself, I like a, a forehand serve than backhand kill. Better for myself. Uh, after you practice, you're gonna know which one is better for yourself. I spent like a three times, I think three times, so bottom spin only and backhand serve, and today it's a forehand serve. Spent three times to explain it. You guys practice, practice, practice. So that's why we need more, more, and more. You have to know all the different spins, different turn, and the arc, everything. So that's why I spend more time to let you practice. So one week, seriously, one week, not enough. You need more. But I wanna push you in short time, let you know everything. Then when you practice, you can fix your own problem by yourself, okay? So I'm gonna show some examples. So forehand pendulum serve. Remember your forehand pendulum serve, serve the spin like this, right? So when he, he's a left-hander, but doesn't matter, left-hander or right-hand, doesn't matter. When you serve to here, so you can see that it's turned to this side. So this one, still remember, Set spin and the bottom spin together. Okay, so put loop. So when you start, you don't have to start go like bang like a real game. No, start from easier, easier way to start. Bang. So feel it. Same thing. Remember last time I said, just uh, think about. It. What the difference, okay? Any difference, you have to remember, okay? Oh, good serve. So serve, loop kill, no good. Still go out, so most time my ball go out too. So I need more forward, okay? Serve, oh, it's much better. Uh, serve, that's nice. Uh, serve why you have to keep the ball on the table always. That's a, oh, no good. Right. Oh, it's much better. So once you practice like this, oh, my ball's good. So you can serve the ball a little bit more spin or close to the real game, how can you close to real game? So when you serve, okay, ready position, and serve. <sighs> serve. See, body balance, and body position, your sweet spot. Then you're gonna control the ball. See that?
Look at that. So once you practice for a while, you can tell yourself the difference. Someone say, oh, backhand, serve backhand loop better. Someone said this one better. So which way for you is better? Which way is working for you? Before, what did I say? Before you say anything, you have to practice. You have to get experience. So ex experience going to tell you the truth. The truth is this way, pendulum surf, easy for me. Backhand surf, not that easy for me. But both of them practice, once you find the difference, you're going to know how to control the ball. OK, so you can see some examples good, some examples no good. So um, when I say something, when I tell you something, when I do something, I still fix my own problem. Doesn't matter how, how good are you, you always have a problem there. So someone going to say, I have good control. I'm going to ask you, how's your power? Oh, I have a good power, how's your control? Good control, good power, this is the best. When you practice pendulum surf, short ball, easy. Long ball, not that easy to use your loop kill. This is my own opinion. Because long ball, when they push the back, the ball always f fly to me always a little bit like this. That's hard to. That's hard to control the ball for myself. How about you? <sighs> okay. Nothing too much right now. Uh, I can tell you. But later on, for sure, you're going to ask more questions. Because most time after you practice, you're going to find all the problems uh, brush, the problems power, the problems body. So right now, just to tell you, Normal when you practice the ball easy to go out because set spin and bottom spin together not too much bottom spin remember last time I said that So when you loop like this try to keep the ball a little bit short All right today we're gonna stop here. You can go to practice See you